Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about camera gear and the kind of camera gear I have for making my videos. So we'll begin with lighting and then we'll move on through everything I have and uh, this is kind of a video if you like making films or if you're just interested in how they make films. This is a newer bounce board. It costs around £15. It's basically like a massive disc that reflects light. It has a gold side, silver side, a white and a black side. And there's also a silk for soft lighting. The Equinox smoke machine. This smoke machine is good for filling the room with haze. And the haze adds like a depth in the lighting for a cinematic shot. But the smoke does fade away quite quickly, so you have to be quite quick to start filming before it disappears. The Viltrox L116T. This light is a very bright and portable filmmaking light. It has a colour temperature and brightness controls. You can mount it on a tripod and it has a long lasting battery. Cheap LED light. This LED light is a cheap light but uh, quite bright, though the battery doesn't really last long and it kind of has a bad CRI value. Green screen lights. These lights came with a green screen I got, and they are they're very bright daylight bulbs which kind of flood the room with light. The work light. This tungsten light gives a very warm looking light. I've taped it to the tripod and put a blue filter on it, but it's a 400 watt bulb, so the light has melted a bit. But I'm building a new thing to hold it on to the tripod and hopefully this will work. Light gels. These are basically plastic sheets that you put over a light to create a different colour of light. These are old celebration wrappers which I found and I stuck them together to create a different colour of light. This is my tripod. It's not very strong but it holds the camera and it can be extended really high to around two and a half meters. The new slider. This slider is very smooth. Uh, I use it for like sliding shots like this. It's around 30 pounds I think uh, and it's a meter long. Steady cam. I use it for stable shots while walking or running. The GoPro Hero 4. I use this camera for underwater and action footage using accessories like the head strap and the GoPro 3 way. It has a touch screen, it can shoot in 4K and there's time-lapse and slow-mo modes. The Canon 60D. This camera is what I use for basically everything. It films in 1080p and it's generally a good camera for cinematic shots and for filming movies. The Sigma 70-300 to macro lens. This lens is good for extremely close-up shots. It has a wide field of view for a blurry background. The Canon 18-50mm lens. I use this lens for most of my shots because it gives a nice wide shot which I think is probably best for telling a story. Clamps. I use 
clamps for holding things up, like putting a silk on a tripod, uh, because it's a really quick and easy way of holding things up. The Rode Video Micro. This microphone is good to bring with when you are travelling because it's small and portable but the sound quality isn't the best because there is quite a lot of noise in the audio. The Gorilla Pod. This tripod was good when I bought it but now it kind of just falls apart every time I use it. Uh, because I was in Sweden and I was filming on a boat, I stood the tripod on a bench and it just fell into some water and kind of broke the bottom. Uh, I might buy a new one soon though, but they do cost about £40, which is terrible for the price. Lens filters. I have ND filters, which darken the image, and I have coloured filters. You can screw all the filters onto each other, and that produces a very dark image. You can fold the lens hood up, and so it's like a small disc, and it doesn't really take up much space, and you can screw filters onto it. The lens cleaning set is good because you can just wipe a bit of dust off the lens or dirt to have a clear image very quickly. I use the remote for long exposures and time lapses because you can set a time for it to take a photo, like wide open, or you can get it to take a photo every 30 seconds or something for a time lapse. Zoom H4n. This is the most recent thing I've bought for £170. It's a high quality sound recorder and what you're hearing right now has been recorded with it. And you can hear that when I'm silent, there's no grain at all. Thank you for watching. This video is very different from my usual videos, but if you enjoyed, like the video. I didn't film all of my filmmaking stuff. Uh, like my costumes or my computer but I might do that in another video so I'll see you later goodbye